Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, is your online profile attracting the wrong people? I have had so many conversations with my clients and just in general with people I've talked to at the gym and all sorts of places about how to be noticed on online dating. Well, what I'm finding with a lot of people is the fact that they're attracting the same types towards them all the time that aren't working out, it's because of something that they've done within the profile, whether it's the text and how they've described themselves and what they want, or whether it's their photos. A lot of the times it is a combination of both. And what happens is we think we want to be talking about what we want for the most part, but what ends up happening is we put a lot of energy into what we don't want. This is what I am finding that's going on when I'm reading people's profiles. They'll send them to me and say, what do you think of this? And I'm constantly finding that they're putting suggestions out there in their profiles that you have to be a certain way. You must be this person. These are very strong words and it comes across that you're maybe a bit aggressive. And this is a turnoff. And a lot of people do read the profiles. They don't just look at the pictures, although saying that some people do, they see an attractive photo and they just base everything on that. Well, that's a mistake as well. The reason they have a profile section and a photo section is so that you can do your best work to show who you really are. Do you want to be perceived as hot and sexy only, or do you want to be perceived as attractive, intelligent, confident, open, all these things, you know, playful. What I suggest to people is that when they write their profile, they write about who they are, but not a huge, it's not a resume. You don't want to make it into where it looks like a resume because it's not a job interview, although it feels like it sometimes. You want to put in things that are important to you, that you like to do, and that anybody reading it doesn't need to be told they have to be this person because they'll see if there's a connection and if there's some similarities because this is something that you want to meet um, you want to meet your partner, you want them to have things in common with you because then you have things to talk about. You have a place to go from. If you start out in a, in a very, uh, where there's nothing in common, it's very hard to grow a relationship out of that. And if you're only basing it on somebody's looks, well, we know how that turns out in the long run. It doesn't, right? Because the intense sexual lust part of a relationship can be there for a long time, but you have to have other things that bring it out as well. If it's just hopping into the sack all the time with them and you have nothing to talk about, it gets boring after a while because you want to have that connection in all areas. So if you're just looking for a hookup, well, that's another thing. But for the most part, people are online and they are looking for that special person to share their life with. So you really want to pay attention to being fun, witty, showing the playful side of who you really are, because that's what gets people coming back and gets the right people coming to you because they're seeing, seeing you at your best really. And if you're posting pictures of yourself that are classy, I'm talking men and women here, and you've got all your clothes on, which is a very positive thing you're going to meet different people. I mean, think about it. If you're posting, say as me, I'm posting pictures of myself and I'm all cleavage or I'm, I'm posing practically naked from one of those boudoir uh, photo sessions or something along that line, that is going to lure in people that are definitely sexually attracted to you. And that can be okay, but that's kind of for later when you finally meet somebody on there that you have a connection with, you can be a little bit of that flirty, sexy person at a later date. But if you're finding that you're only attracting people that want to hook up for sex, then you might want to revisit your photos. Because I have seen so many people 
putting things out there that are very questionable. And it screams, hello, I'm here for a good time. And that's not what you're looking for. So you've come to this video because you've, you re read the title about attracting the wrong types towards you. So you want to change up probably uh, your, both your photos and your, your, the text in your profile because you want to be able to come across and show people who you are, not pointing out all the things you don't want in a person. Talk about who you are. That is the most important. It should be maybe a paragraph long, or maybe two small paragraphs, and just talk about the things you like, that, you know, if you're ready for a partnership, you can say that. Put out what you want without saying what they have to be, if that makes sense to you. You want to put out the fact that this is who I am. I love this. I love doing this. This is what makes me happy. Those kind of things will bring you a person who also feels that way towards you. And they're not just looking for sex. And I always say to people, if you want a relationship, make sure that you put that in there. Because there's a lot of people that are looking for lots of different things online. They might just be looking for friends with benefits. They might be looking for, uh, you know, a casual situation, not, um, not a monogamous uh, scenario. So put out what that, that sort of thing that you're looking for, that I'm, I'm interested in having uh, a partnership with someone or a long-term partnership with someone, just make sure that's in there quickly. So there's no gray area here. You wanna make sure that they know you're interested in a relationship. And when you meet them and they're saying that they're not ready for anything, move on. So many people stay in these situations thinking they can change somebody's mind. That doesn't usually happen. If somebody does not wanna get married and have kids, and you do, Find that out early on with somebody and move on if that's not in, in, the, in the cards for them. It's really quite simple, but we make it complicated because we don't listen to what they say. So read their profiles, look at their photos, and really hear what they say if you do have a couple of texts with them or you actually meet up. I would also suggest that you don't spend months texting somebody because people can say a lot of different things. It's when you see them in person and see their body language and, and li really listen to what they say, see if there's eye contact and connection between the two of you. And you'll find out a lot quicker that way. So you're not spending time just having this banter with somebody that really has no desire to be in a relationship. So be careful about how much information you give out in your profile as well because you don't know these people yet. You want to be very careful, um, especially if you're like a parent or, you know, anything like that. Don't put photos of your, your kids on there. Don't put photos of other people in a big group. I always suggest just putting maybe four photos up, three or four photos, doing some kind of sport, maybe just a really nice uh, sort of portrait photo that you had done at Christmas or something along those lines. Something just really nice that shows who you are, but it's not seductive. Try some of these things I've mentioned. Just have another person look at your profile, look at your photos, and just be really open to what they have to say. Because if you're wondering why you keep attracting the same people, you're doing something. And, and if they're not the right people, then you have to change what isn't working. So ask a few friends or send it to somebody professionally and maybe they can help you with it. It's usually just a few little tweaks and then you'll notice that different people are coming towards you. And don't be afraid also to be the one to approach other people. Don't just sit back waiting for everyone to come to you because if you're looking for a certain type of person, go find them. Don't wait for the wrong ones to come to you. Go find the one you're looking for. I don't know all the different internet things and what you can do now, but I know you can put a like or a, a heart on their photo or something along those lines and then see if it connects. But go for what you want. Don't just wait for the wrong ones to contact you. 
Thank you everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave your comments below. I'll be back here next Wednesday with some more of another video. And I'd love it if you subscribed if you haven't already done so. And please click like. Thanks so much everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.